When you take a COVID-19 test, the studying actually happens here. And they start processing it on our analyzers for the actual diagnosis. BioVision Diagnostics is a medium-sized lab in Collinsville where they can process up to a thousand tests a day. CEO Vince Ojeda says it's become their main focus. We've had to pivot almost everything to COVID-19 at this point. Rapid antigen tests require a certain amount of COVID-19 in your system to work. Labs like this run PCR tests or polymerase chain reaction tests. Considered the gold standard, it means reading the sample or specimen more closely. We are amplifying it to see if it is in there. Think of it like a needle in a haystack. Hard to see. But if you multiply that, have a whole handful of needles, you'll find at least one of them. <laughs> Whether in large processing machines like this one or by hand, the samples are mixed carefully with certain chemicals and heated up. It's a process that makes the COVID-19 cells detectable while decontaminating the samples so they're safe to work with. Then it's analyzed. So this is our control well to make sure that we do show that it is positive for COVID and then this patient is also positive. The negative patient will be down here, making this a flat line because we don't find anything. Lab manager Joyce McLeod says incorrect or inconclusive results are typically because of the way a sample was collected. We always now have people blow their nose prior because we're ending up with a lot of mucus on our collection devices, and that is actually not a good thing. Wait, what? Really? Yes. Results are then made available for the patient or provider as quickly as possible. We've been able to keep our turnaround time very short, 24 to 48 hours. Amid the positive and the negative, Ojeda says labs like his have experienced some testing times, but will keep grinding as long as the pandemic demands it. It just became our world. Abby Larico, Five on Your Side.